At last, really big and heartening breakthroughs are coming to American education. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The word revolution is overused, but it is an apt description of the dramatic changes starting to hit the troubled American school system. What is coming, and on a scale inconceivable three years ago, is the gold standard of genuine school choice, ESAs, education savings accounts. These allow parents to control the money, not school bureaucracies and the leaders of the teachers' unions. The funds can be used for accredited private schools, religious schools, vocational schools, online courses, tutoring, and in a Republican proposal in Florida for homeschooling as well. The government school monopoly would truly be busted. It's starting to happen. Iowa has just passed a sweeping ESA bill that would be phased in over three years that truly empowers parents, regardless of income or residence. Governor Kim Reynolds succeeded in passing this ESA legislation after three hard years of fierce resistance. Utah is enacting an extensive ESA bill that will provide upwards of $8,000 per student. Arizona and West Virginia have pushed through ESA reforms. A number of other states are mulling ESA-like reforms. School unions and bureaucrats are up in arms, and their mostly Democratic friends are obeying their commands. Fight these movements any way you can. Imagine parents getting to decide where their kids go to school. However, the reality of what's happened in too many of our schools can't be swept aside any longer. It's a moral issue. Education opportunities should not be determined by zip codes and incomes. For decades, observers have bemoaned the inadequate education kids in K-12 through have been getting. Students badly lag their peers in other countries in reading and math. Horror stories, particularly in schools in poorer parts of the country, abound about the shocking lack of the reading capabilities of youngsters. The absolutely unnecessary shutdowns of in-class instruction during much of the pandemic sharply widen already serious learning gaps. Certain reforms, especially the advent of charter schools that are free of the suffocating administrative and union rules that stifle effective classroom instruction in public schools, achieved real success in improving student performance, but they reached only a fraction of the student population. Now, the barriers to sweeping change are being blown away. The pandemic lockdowns graphically exposed to parents what their kids are being taught and not taught. Parents were appalled. They also saw firsthand the damaging, unresponsive arrogance of school unions and bureaucrats. That's why parents are rising up around the country, getting involved in school board elections and school meetings, and pushing politicians to let them choose how and where their kids are taught. These reforms will also allow a flourishing of different ways to teach kids instead of the one-size-fits-all approach today and the competition they unleash will force public schools to improve as well. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.